evolution of Bugatti. Or should we say, the evolution of the train company Bugatti? Yes, you heard that right. Bugatti used to be a manufacturer of trains. Ever since, it's grown into one of the most recognizable and admired car companies in supercar history. Bugatti has consistently pushed the limits of engineering, design and performance. At one point, their innovative mindset nearly cost them their factory as the Veyron started a massive fire while testing its new engine. So tell me, said, well, what color is your Bugatti? <laughs> In the early 20th century, a visionary engineer and designer named Ettore Bugatti set out to create a brand that would redefine the essence of automotive excellence. Born in Milan, Italy in 1881, Ettore was the son of an accomplished artist and sculptor. His exposure to art and design from an early age laid the foundation for his innate sense of beauty and aesthetics. Ettore Bugatti's journey to establish his own automotive brand began in the French town of Montchaim in the Alsace region. In 1909, Bugatti opened its first factory, which would become the birthplace of automotive masterpieces. With a small team of skilled craftsmen and engineers, he set out to create cars that would combine exquisite designs, innovative engineering and unparalleled performance. Bugatti's relentless pursuit of automotive perfection resulted in the creation of the company's first models. In 1910, Bugatti introduced the Type 13, a compact sports car that quickly gained recognition for its agility and speed. With a lightweight construction and a powerful engine, the Type 13 set the stage for Bugatti's future success. In the 1920s, Bugatti introduced a model that would become a true icon in the automotive world, the Bugatti Type 35. This remarkable racing car dominated the motorsport scene, winning over a thousand races and securing numerous Grand Prix victories. With its elegant design, advanced engineering and exceptional handling, the Type 35 propelled Bugatti to the forefront of automotive excellence. As the 1920s gave way to the 1930s, Bugatti continued to innovate and create legendary automobiles that were coveted by enthusiasts and collectors alike. This period is often referred to as the golden era of Bugatti. One of the most notable creations of this era was the Bugatti Type 41 Royale. Designed as a luxury car for European royalty, the Royale featured a massive 12.7-litre engine and an opulent, handcrafted body. Despite its grandeur and exclusivity, the Royale was produced in limited numbers due to its economic challenges at the time. After a hiatus following World War II, the Bugatti brand experienced a revival in the 1990s when it was acquired by the Volkswagen Group. This marked a new chapter in Bugatti's history as the brand set out to redefine automotive performance and luxury. The first model to emerge from this revival was the Bugatti EB110. Introduced in 1991, the EB110 showcased cutting-edge technology and engineering. Its quad turbocharged V12 engine delivered awe-inspiring performance, propelling the car to a top speed of 213 miles per hour. The EB110 was a testament to Bugatti's commitment to pushing the boundaries of speed and innovation. The dawn of the new millennium witnessed the introduction of a car that would redefine the limits of automotive engineering and capture the world's imagination, the famous Bugatti Veyron. The Bugatti Veyron, introduced in 2005, was a groundbreaking feat of engineering excellence. It featured a mind-boggling 8.0-litre quad-turbocharged W16 engine, producing an unprecedented 1,001 horsepower. With a top speed of 253 miles per hour, the Veyron became the fastest production car in the world, cementing Bugatti's reputation as a pioneer of performance. Building upon the success of the Veyron, Bugatti unveiled the Veyron Super Sport in 2010. With enhanced aerodynamics, increased power output, and a speed that topped at 267.8 miles per hour, the Super Sport claimed the title of the fastest production car in the world. It showcased Bugatti's relentless pursuit of performance and commitment to pushing the boundaries and limit of what was deemed possible. As Bugatti continues to evolve and push the boundaries of automotive engineering, a new chapter of its illustrious history unfolds. In 2016, Bugatti introduced the Chiron, a true marvel of engineering and craftsmanship. Named after the legendary Monegasque driver Louis Chiron, the Chiron raised the bar even higher. Powered by an 8.0-litre quad-turbocharged W16 engine, producing an astounding 1500 horsepower, the Chiron set the new benchmarks in performance. Its top speed is electronically limited to 261 miles per hour, ensuring it remains a pinnacle of automotive engineering. The Bugatti Chiron is also in possession of the famous Andrew Tate. 
Continuing the tradition of limited edition masterpieces, Bugatti unveiled the Devo in 2018. Named after Albert Devo, a legendary racing driver from the 1920s, the Devo is a more track-focused variant of the Chiron. With enhanced aerodynamics, increased downforce, and lighter overall weight, the Devo offers unparalleled agility and precision on the racetrack. In 2020, Bugatti unveiled the Bolide, a concept car that represents the ultimate expression of track performance. The Bolide features a lightweight carbon fiber construction, an aerodynamically optimized design, and a mind-blowing 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine producing 1825 horsepower. With the projected top speed exceeding 310 miles per hour, the Bowline showcases Bugatti's relentless pursuit of speed and performance. The Future of Bugatti As we look ahead, Bugatti shows no signs of slowing down. The brand continues to innovate, redefine and push the boundaries of what is possible in the automotive world. With that said, we conclude the acquisition of Bugatti by the Volkswagen Group marked a pivotal turning point in the brand's history. Under the new ownership, Bugatti was infused with the resources and technical expertise needed to propel it into the modern era. The goal was clear, to create a car that would surpass all expectations and set new benchmarks for speed, luxury and craftsmanship. Today Bugatti stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of innovation and excellence. From its humble beginnings to its modern-day masterpieces, the brand has remained true to its core values of artistry, engineering prowess, and uncompromising luxury. With each new model, Bugatti continues to define what is possible in the automotive world captivating. In conclusion, the foundation of Bugatti and its early years laid the groundwork for an automotive legacy that would endure for generations. Ettore Bugatti's unwavering commitment to excellence, his innovative engineering, and his unyielding passion for art and design set Bugatti apart from its contemporaries. It established it as an iconic brand synonymous with luxury, performance, and timeless elegance. Bugatti's early models, such as the Type 13 and Type 35, showcased the brand's dedication to pushing the boundaries of speed and agility. These cars not only dominated the racetracks, but also captured the hearts and imaginations of automotive enthusiasts worldwide. The Bugatti Type 35 became an icon of motorsports, achieving countless victories and solidifying Bugatti's position as a force to be reckoned with in the racing world. The birth of the Bugatti Royale exemplified Ettore Bugatti's ambition and his desire to create automotive masterpieces that transcended ordinary luxury. The Royale's grandeur and opulence were unmatched, making it a symbol of prestige and exclusivity. Though only a limited number of Royals were produced, their rarity and magnificence have made them coveted treasures among collectors and enthusiasts. Bugatti's legacy is not limited to its engineering prowess. Ettore Bugatti's belief that automobiles were works of art inspired collaborations with talented artists and craftsmen. The Bugatti factory became a hub of creativity, where engineering precision and artistic expression merged seamlessly. Each Bugatti car became a masterpiece, a testament to the harmonious marriage of art and innovation. However, as with many stories, Bugatti's journey experienced a momentary pause through the onset of World War II. The factory in Molsheim was occupied and production ceased. The dream of creating extraordinary automobiles seemed to fade away. Yet, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Bugatti would eventually be revived and its legacy would continue to evolve. Did this buzz your curiosity for more? What would you like next? Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and follow for more.